This activity requires you to install shelf brackets onto a piece of sheetrock. To complete this activity, you need to gather the following items. Safety glasses, pencil, tape measure, sheetrock trainer, metal tray, sheetrock if needed, four plastic anchors, four fasteners or screws, shelf brackets, shelf, hammer, torpedo level, number two Phillips screwdriver, three sixteenths inch drill bit, and the cordless drill. Hold the drill, making sure your finger is not on the trigger. Set the selector to the locked position that is located directly in the center of the switch. Unlock or loosen the chuck until the opening is large enough for the drill bit to fit inside. Hold the collar of the chuck with one hand and rotate the chuck body with the other hand to a locked position. You must make sure that all three chuck jaws evenly contact the shank of the drill bit. Simply snug the chuck body using only the force of your fingers. Do not over tighten. Either you or your partner should hold the sheetrock trainer as the hole is being drilled. It is very important that you do not have your fingers in the direct path of the emerging drill bit. Make sure you grip the side panels of the trainer while drilling. Put on your safety glasses and remove any jewelry you might have on your fingers or wrist. If you are wearing a long sleeve shirt, roll up the sleeves to prevent the chance of them getting caught in the drill. Push in the forward arrow of the selector. You'll know it's the forward arrow because it points to the chuck of the drill. Align the drill so the drill bit is in the center of your mark. It's important to hold the drill so it is level on both the horizontal and vertical axes. You don't want to drill the hole at an angle. Most of the time, you can use your line of sight to make sure the drill is being held straight. When the drill is in a level position, depress the switch trigger to drill the hole. You'll need to apply a slight amount of forward force to drill the hole. When you feel the drill bit emerge on the back side of the sheetrock, pull the bit back out of the hole. Release the switch trigger and place the drill on the counter so the drill bit rests over the metal tray. A wall anchor is a device used to attach fasteners to material that is not strong enough to hold the item being mounted. The plastic anchors used in this activity expand as the fastener or screw is threaded into it. This expanding action grips into the sheetrock material and provides more holding power than the screw by itself. Insert the small or tapered end of the plastic wall anchor into the drilled hole. Support the trainer with your free hand as you push the anchor into the hole as far as you can. If the top ring around the anchor is not flush with the sheetrock, use the hammer and lightly tap the anchor until the ring is flush against the sheetrock. Be careful not to dimple the sheetrock with the face of the hammer. Align the top hole of the bracket with the center of the plastic anchor. Use your fingers to start the fastener or screw as you thread it into the anchor. When the screw is tight enough to hold in position, Use the number two Phillips screwdriver to tighten the screw into the anchor. Do not completely tighten the screw. Stop at the point where the head of the screw touches the bracket surface. A level usually has more than one indicator vial. The center vial that is parallel to the length of the level is the level indicator. The vial that is perpendicular to the length of the level is the plumb indicator. Some levels have another vial set on an angle. When the bubble is centered between the marks on the indicator, the object is either level or plumb. It's important that the brackets are level, both vertically and horizontally.
When an object is level vertically, we say it is plumb. Grip the torpedo level so the plumb vial is at the top. Place the level against the side of the bracket and move the bracket into a plumb position. You'll know the bracket is plumb when the leveling bubble is directly in between the two lines on the vial. Try to hold the bracket so it doesn't move from the vertical position as you mark the location of the bottom hole with your pencil. After the mark is made, pivot the bracket to the side so it is out of the way for drilling the second hole. Put your safety glasses back on and drill the second hole as you grip the side panels of the trainer. Be sure your fingers are out of the path of the moving drill bit. Keep the drill level as you drill this hole. Use the same method as before to insert the plastic anchor into this hole. When the anchor is in place, thread the fastener into the anchor. Use the screwdriver to tighten the screw to a final position. Do not over tighten the screw. Apply just enough pressure to snug the head of the screw against the bracket. You may also tighten the top screw as well. Extend the tape measure blade to approximately 8 inches and lock the blade into place. Place the end tab of the tape measure on the inside edge of the mounted bracket at the place of the top screw. Measure and place a mark at 4 inches. This mark will indicate where the inside edge of the second bracket should be placed. The shelf should be level so the items you place on the shelf will not rest at an angle. Hold the second bracket in place, making sure the inside edge aligns with the pencil mark. The open slot, or top reading window, should be on the top of the level. Position the level so it rests across both of the brackets. Raise or lower the bracket until the leveling bubble rests between the two lines of the horizontal vial. This will ensure the bracket is at the correct height. Keep the inside bracket edge aligned with the 4-inch mark. After both of these are achieved, use your pencil to mark the location of the top hole of the bracket. At this time, you need to repeat the process for drilling the top hole of the second bracket. Remember to wear your safety glasses and keep your fingers out of the path of the moving drill bit. After the hole is drilled, insert the plastic anchor and thread the fastener through the bracket hole. Hold the torpedo level against the outside edge of the bracket and move it into a vertically level position. Mark the location of the bottom hole. Use the cordless drill to drill the second hole. Once again, keep your fingers out of the way and wear your safety glasses. Insert the plastic anchor into the hole and thread the fastener through the bracket using the number two Phillips screwdriver. Tighten both screws. Locate the shelf and position it on top of the brackets. Place the level on top of the shelf and read the horizontal vial to see if the bubble is positioned between the lines. If the shelf is not level, then you would normally remove one of the brackets and repeat the process to correct the problem. Because this activity is only a simulation, leave the brackets where they are. Begin the cleanup process by removing the drill bit. Set the selector to the locked position. Firmly hold the chuck collar and turn the chuck body to unlock or release the drill bit. Remove the drill bit and set it and the drill to the side. You can now take the shelf unit apart. Use the screwdriver to remove each of the four screws. The screws and brackets can be used again, but the plastic anchors will remain in the sheetrock. Place the screws, brackets, and drill bits into the storage container. 
The last thing you need to do is to identify the holes you drilled during this activity. Use your pencil to draw a circle around the anchors you inserted. Write the numeral next to each anchor that represents your class hour. For example, the numeral 2 identifies your work as second hour. It's now time to clean your workstation. Return the items used to complete this activity to the proper storage area. In this session, you learned how to properly use a hammer, level, and cordless power drill. You also learned how to mount shelf brackets onto a piece of sheetrock using plastic anchors.